hello guys welcome to another video in this video we would be discussing everything about snapshots so in dbt what is snapshot snapshot is nothing but an option in dbt to handle history records using scd2 i guess everyone who is watching dbt might already be aware of scd2 if not please search on what is scd2 there are multiple types of scd2 and this snapshot is used to handle scd type 2 where you can store history of records and the current records both in a table once we get changes in the source table so let's see how we can handle scd2 and what are the options we have in shop snapshot in dbt so you can create a snapshot just with an uh, yaml file you don't need a sql file you can also create with the sql file i'll show you on how to create a sql file but uh, as per dbt the recommended way is to not apply any transformations i mean while creating snapshot it is recommended to not have any transformations or filters or any kind of checks so snapshot should be an initial layer where it stores all the history history data and then in the next layer you can apply all the transformations by writing them in the models so it is recommended to not apply any kind of transformations the one the sole purpose of snapshot feature is to just store historical data and the current data so now if you go to this yaml file the first yaml file this is how we create the snapshot so the first thing will be snapshots colon what should be the name of the snapshot so now let me just grab an example from the internet just on high level in case if someone is not aware of scd2 and then so that it will be very clear so here if you see the source table has only these three columns the target has these three columns along with this it has uh, extra two columns these are audit columns so why do it has these two columns see now this particular record here has been changed from 10 inch glued box to 10 inch pasted box right so the record has been updated in the source so when the record has been updated in the source if you see here it, it is maintaining the old record and the new record and the new i mean how it is differentiating the old record and new record is with the effective start date and effective end date so this record has the effective end date closed here and again when the record has updated with that it creates a new record with the effective start date and end date will be like uh, in, in infinite date something like that like 999 12 31 something like that or it can be null whatever based on the business requirement so this is how we store the scd2 and the snapshots are created exactly for this purpose only so if you see we have a first yaml file in this yaml file we have snapshots name of the snapshot and it is writing from which table which table there should be some source or some reference model here it doesn't have to be a source it can be a reference model as well so from this table and what are the config parameters here you can mention the schema database name and the, there are few arguments which are mandatorily should be given in the snapshot.yaml file one is unique key we need to give some kind of unique key for sure it can be either a single column or it can be some kind of expression as well a concatenation of multiple columns some kind of expression is also accepted and also there are two types of strategies uh, one is timestamp one other is check in case if the source uh, table has it any uh, audit column with the data type as timestamp with which i mean if in case if that in that audit column indicates whether the record has been inserted in the table something like that if you have any timestamp column which indicates when that specific row has been inserted in the source table then you can go with and it is highly recommended to go with the strategy as timestamp only in case if the source table doesn't have any of the timestamp column it has only the business columns only for suppose let's assume source has a order id order name uh, order amount only these three columns there is no uh, timestamp column when this order record has been entered in that case we have to go with the strategy as check i'll show you that as well but right now my source table has a timestamp column so let me first show you my source table if i go and run the sales sales table it has a unique id which is sales id and then the amount status uh, the sales timestamp this is the audit column when this record has been entered into this table and the customer ID and product ID this is my source table so I want to do snapshot on this table so I am going with the strategy as timestamp because my e, e, source table has a timestamp column as I have said here and what is the column name which we need to mention here in this updated it the sales timestamp that's the timestamp column here if you see that's the timestamp column sale timestamp so which is what I have given as I am going with the strategy as timestamp we need this particular value if I go with the strategy as check we will have the different option which I will show you and also if from dbt 1.8 or 9 onwards we have this option called dws valid to 
Uh, and some date you can pass it. You can even cast it as two date of this and all two timestamp or something or like that. So as you have already seen in in while storing the SCD2, there should be some end date right here. If you see, they are storing December 31, 9999. So when you give this particular option for the active records, so it will store the DDB, DBT value to column as 999 I will show you how it works. So this is one way to create the snapshots. So now there is another way. So now before we have seen the strategy as timestamp here, the, the these are all the columns are same, the unique key database, the configuration relation from what is the source table, that's the relation. And in case if you go with the check column, the assume like you don't have a timestamp column here. Okay. Let's assume you don't have the timestamp column. In that case, now you have to create another argument called check column and you have to give the column name. So what happens in this scenario is it will check for all the columns mentioned here in the source table if the record in any of these columns has been differentiated or has been updated from the target to the source if so then it will update it so it has to know right like yes this particular column has some update this particular column has some update so what and all columns you want to check you need to mention here because we don't have a timestamp column if you have the timestamp column it will refer that timestamp column if there is any differentiated in the timestamp then it will take that record as a new record and update as a SCD2 in the target. And this is the same argument which we have already seen. So there are two strategies. One is timestamp. In case if the source has a timestamp column, then we have to go with the timestamp only. That's what DBT highly recommends. And in case if, it, if the source table doesn't have any timestamp column, then you have to go with the strategy equal to check. And what are the columns it has to check? These columns. So it will compare the data oh, in these columns between the source and target. And if there is any difference in the data only in these columns, then it will take that record as a updated row. I mean, it will treat that particular row as updated row and it will create a SCD2 in the target. I'll show that as well while running, but at first I'm explaining all the YAML configurations. So there can be a scenario in the real time where the records get deleted in the source. And once the record gets, so let's assume we have, we have on the day one, we have five records in the source table and we have created a snapshot table and the five records have been come to our target on the day two. Let's assume while again running the snapshot, there can be a scenario where the source has deleted one row and there are only four rows. So now the target should know that that particular record has been deleted, right? So that can also be handled with this config parameter. So that's called hard deletes. So in case if the source has deleted, if this hard delete takes three arguments. Okay. Ignore, invalidate, new record. Ignore means it will ignore those kind of records. Even if the source has the record deleted, it does nothing into our target. It just leave that record as active only. In case if you mark it as invalidate here, if you pass the invalidate value here, then it will update the effective end date time. So if you see here, for suppose, let's assume this particular 12th, this record has been deleted. So what happens when you run the snapshot is this record, this particular column gets updated. The ICD type to column effective end date gets updated to that current timestamp like that. And in case if you do new record, so what happens is it will have the existing record like this only. So it will create another column called DBT deleted and it will have the value true or false in that column. I'll show you that as well. It is true. That means the record got deleted in the source. Those kind of records in the target will have the value as for true in that specific column. I'll show you what that, what is that column and how it behaves, but I'm just explaining the config now. And here in this, uh, in this uh, snapshot, I'm just using new record. And in the next snapshot, I'm just using the invalidate to show you both the scenarios. And now this one here, you see dbt by default creates the audit columns like this dbt dbt valid from dbt valid to dbt scd id the unique id for each row and dbt updated when this record has been updated dbt is deleted to handle uh, the de deleted records in the source in case if you don't want to have this particular naming convention and in case if you want to have any specific naming convention which suits your business requirement then you can give those names as well so here we are typically uh, manipulating or updating the scd type to column names that's it i mean right now we have seen how to create snapshot using haml as per the old convention dbt recommends using yaml only to create the uh, uh, snapshot because we don't do any kind of transformations while creating the snapshots right so 
in case if you want to go with sql also you can even do that but the particular sql file should start with snapshot and the name of name of it and the config parameter should be passed here all the uh, configs which we pass here should be passed again um, the similar config should be passed here that's it and the select statement it should be just select star statement and end the snapshot because we opened the braces here we have to end the snapshot here like this this is how we can create the snapshot using sql as well so snapshot can be created in two ways one is yaml and one is sql so to run the snapshot we have to just do dbt snapshot so when we run it all these tables gets created in my schema if you see i have six uh, five yaml files and one sql file so all six got created here so let's check one by one if you see when i take the first table i got created and these are the audit columns i as i said see dbt valid 2 is this particular value because that is what we have mentioned in in here keep the valid 2 as some value which we have passed so the same value is being pushed here that's it so now we have seen how the audit tables gets created how the audit columns gets created and uh, how this value has been populated so now let's see one by one so we have seen this which is okay strategy equal to timestamp so let's see how the strategy equal to timestamp works here so now i will go this is my source table sales right so now i will just update this particular row with the status as delivered and i'm updating the timestamp as well with the current date okay so now when i run it in the source I, I will have updated some value so when i run again dbt snapshot the target should also be updated let's see how the target gets updated so now for, let me first show you this target if you see here for one it's completed sale status is completed and amount and all we are not updating we are updating the sale timestamp column because it's an audit column for us so now this should have the current date and we should have another row and that row should have the same value as what we are putting in this dbt value too so let's check it so let me update this that's it now when i do this one it, it should be updated yes it's updated the first row is come delivered and it's updated so let's run dbt snapshot once so now when i come here you can run even a single file as well, iPhone iPhone select, dbt snapshot iPhone iPhone select, but I'm just running all. If you see a new row got created right here, the old one is completed. And if you see the audit columns here, see what are all the date valid from for the new one, the same has come here. And this is the active record now, this is the history record. So we have successfully did the SCD2. The source has a timestamp column, so we are dealing with the strategist timestamp. Let's assume this scenario where the source doesn't have the timestamp column okay so now in case if any of these particular fields have been updated then it has to update so let's run it so i am updating this so here we are calculating the status also right so from delivered i'm just keeping a a a a here and i don't want to update the timestamp also now when i update the sales table see see it, it has updated to a a a let's see how our target behaves for the snapshot two table we should have three rows one for the previous run one for now so these two are previous runs and we have a new run as we have mentioned the sales status uh, here in the check columns it has checked for the sales status column and it has updated if you see how these three rows have been behaved see only this is active that's how the scd2 works so it's working fine so we have checked this scenario strategy of both timestamp and check is working fine now let's check the hard delete scenario so i mean one one with new record and another one with invalidate let's see how ignore means it just ignores it doesn't give the shit that's it so now here i have the sales table and i am removing this particular second row the sale id equal to and now when i do dbt snapshot let's see how those two this sales 3 snapshot and sales 4 snapshot looks like okay now sales 3 i have deleted and for sales 3 what am i asking new record a new row should come right when i run it if you see it has created an extra column which was not there before this one and only true for the latest record that means this particular record has been deleted and it's a new record i mean wherever it is true that's a new record the previous record has been deleted in the source so it behaved fine for this the new record let's see how it's behaving for the invalidate invalidate is for this fourth table
see this one so here we don't have the deleted flag instead if you see this particular record has been closed that means this particular to sale id is deleted in the source so we have just closed it we don't want any new record in this scenario so this is how the hard delete invalidate and uh, new record works okay and now if we as i said uh, we can even manipulate the audit column names if you see for this table it says dbt value frame in case if you don't want if you want to manipulate we can just check that how it has created with the new names which we have created it should have created see valid from date valid to date is deleted this is what i've given valid from date valid to date a cd id updated date see that's what so this is how we can even manipulate the audit columns a cd to audit column that's it now we have this is not this is nothing but let's see whether this table has been created or not see if you see sales snapshot okay this sales snapshot it got created here with the same as above that's it here if you see the dd dws valid 2 is null for this row it has because we have run this multiple times because i ran all the snapshot instead of one which i should have not done so i have run all this why it has null because here we didn't configure this particular parameter this one dbt valid to current if you give the some value to this this valid to will have those specific value like 9999312 so that's it these are all the things we need to know in snapshots in dbt that's it thank you so much for watching